Right guys, welcome to Simple Rockets 2 Mobile and on this one, there's been a new update so I thought we'd check it out and since I haven't got my computer and everything set up, I thought we would just simply check it out on mobile and see what is going on because it is pretty exciting this new update. So, first of all, you'll notice this capsule, we've just created a new rocket here, you'll notice this capsule looks like it has windows now, I'm not sure how they work or anything. Um, pod scale, oh my god, you can actually scale up. The radius of the capsule that is awesome that's a good thing autopilot here that is just the original thing that they already had gyroscope power now that is new so that was that is cool obviously that'll take more electricity the more you use it but this is not what we're oops i've dropped me pen i've dropped me pen ah i dropped me a pen my apologies. Right, <laughs> this is not what we're excited about. What we're excited about is this new command page where we have some new capsule command pods. Now look at this, controls of craft, one capsule command chip. Now this one is really strange. I'm not sure what this is designed. <gasps> Blue origin, that is what it's designed from. I'm gonna guess. Um, This one. Maybe Soyuz? I'm not sure what that one's designed from. Someone can tell us in there. Obviously, there's the standard sort of KSP style uh, command pod. We've also got this jet um, command pod here. So, obviously, this is just for planes, really. You're not going to be using that to go to space. Maybe you can. I don't know if you can, actually. Now, what's this? Multifunctional display. Run special busy programs to display interactive widgets during flight. Oh, is the new is the new stuff busy? Let's have a look here. I have no idea. All this is. Pretty much the same. I don't know how them screens will work. I'm sure um, someone will let us know how they work. Let's have a look in here, actually. With you can change the display. Maybe it just shows you what's going on at the current time. I don't know. We'll figure them out at some later date. Obviously, what I'm excited about is this one. Because this one is kind of like the Dragon X capsule. It's got the movable nose cone on the top and it also has rockets already installed you see so we'll set this as primary what we're going to do we're going to get this fuel tank okay we'll just bin that whole lot we're going to add a decoupler it's an inlet what am i doing i forgot how to play this game right into stage oops sorry i'm a bit rusty on this i haven't played in a long time but anyway we'll get an into stage we'll get fuel tank and then we'll just stick a mage engine on the bottom there just so to see this thing right let's go into the settings of this command pod and see what is going on fuel consumption radius um power again throttle input activation group seven okay okay that is going to be cool so it's going to be interesting to see how this works but another thing that is really exciting apart from they've changed the way these look kind of there's nothing new in this menu really um nothing new in this menu either there is just one thing i am looking for which i cannot find where is it there we go text we can now add text on the side of our rockets which is really awesome so let's put if we just put space x on here right and then we if we put the width as one 
and the, extend the height then obviously you can see it will make the font size bigger you can see it's now gone vertical rather than horizontal in the text so that is pretty cool i mean it can't go any bigger than that but that is still pretty awesome to be able to put text on the side of things without having to manually make your own text is pretty damn good so i think we'll just launch this and see how this new capsule turns out once this loads I've forgotten how long the loading times are on this I <laughs> uh, don't know why that was making a noise so can we open this actions crew no crew maybe it might not even work because we haven't got crew but can we How do we open that top part there? Oh, there we go, look at that. So what's inside here? Do you have to manually put something inside or is this a docking port? Maybe you have to add your own docking port on top. I'm guessing that's probably the case and I haven't done that in this. But where is the text? There it is. So there's the text in all its glory. Right, so let's throttle up. We'll start off a stage. Uh, we kind of want to lock orientation, don't we? And then blah, 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 blah. We'll cut the power. Wait until we lose all of our speed. And then what we want, we'll just disconnect that. Action group seven. Full throttle, look at that. That was cool, so that is going to be a good busy program to... We could put parachutes in there as well. That is going to be a good busy program to have like an abort sequence and also kind of like a capsule landing sequence where you don't need parachutes. You can just blast the, you know, the, the engines at the last minute because that was pretty powerful to be honest. We got so much higher than we did at the tank. Obviously, this is going to die, but there's no one in, so... <laughs> How well does this react? That is pretty good reaction. So, yeah, you can see there's a load of new possibilities with this new update, and it is going good. Now, I haven't read the patch notes, but I noticed the, the map view seemed to be slightly more higher res. On mobile, I'm not sure what it's like on PC. I don't think there's any more planets being added or anything. Let's have a look here. Wow, we really scale out now, can't we? Can we always scale out that much? <laughs> oh, I've lost the map. Right, but there we go. You get the picture. So that is this new update. I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of what what it's going on and uh hope you're enjoying i'll see you in the next one peace